All right. So, um, so ladies and gentlemen, when we're trying to determine, uh, write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, remember that to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form, we basically have it in y equals mx plus b. And basically what we want to do is identify the slope and identify the y-intercept. Now, in this case, our point, remember, x is not 0. So we don't have the x-intercept, right? This is just a point that the line goes through. And we don't even have the slope. We just have a line that is perpendicular to it. So we have to remember how do perpendicular lines relate to each other, especially how are their slopes related. Um, in parallel, which is the, usually the one that students most often remember, parallel lines, remember, do not intersect, right? So their slopes are going to be exactly the same. However, in perpendicular, they do intersect. They are orthogonal lines. They intersect and create a 90 degree angle, which we sometimes call orthogonal. So um, to give you kind of a little bit of an example, or, um, if I had a slope of y equals you know, negative 3 fifths x, the per a line perpendicular to that is going to have what we call opposite reciprocals. So the perpendicular line would have a slope that is the opposite. So if one's negative, that means the other one is going to be positive, And it's going to be the reciprocal. Do you guys see how these are opposite reciprocals of each other? Okay. So in our example, we basically have 3 over 1. So the new slope, the slope of our line, our m, is going to be the opposite reciprocal of that, which should be a negative 1 third. Does that make sense? Yes? OK. So now, basically, we just know that, all right, so that's our slope. Now we just need to, to go through a point. Did I show you guys point slope form and slope intercept form? I showed you both using both of them? OK. I'm going to use point slope form for this one. So basically, I'll do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And then again, x1 and y1 represent the point that it goes through, which we are given right here. And now we have determined our new slope, which is negative 1 third. So we'll just plug in our points. y minus y1, which is 5, equals to our slope, which is negative 1 third, times x minus x1, which is negative 6. Does everybody see how I, I plugged in all the information? I plugged in the slope, and I plugged in the point that the, that the line goes through. Anybody have any questions up to this point? OK, now we just go ahead and simplify. Apply a distributive property here. So you'd have y minus 5 equals negative 1 third x. Negative 1 third, that becomes minus a negative 6 is a positive 6. Negative 1 third times positive 6 is going to be a negative 2. All right, and then I'm just going to use my inverse operations, get rid of the 5. I can only add the 5 to that negative 2. So I have y equals negative 1 third x plus 3. Anybody want me to re-explain anything? We're good? OK. So parallel lines is usually much easier because we 